Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lana and today I will be doing the 20 questions tag. This morning I filmed this tag video already, but apparently my camera did not get any footage, so I am doing this again. I was tagged by the lovely Emma from the Overstuffed Shelf. Thank you, Emma. Let's get to the questions. Question number one, how many books are too many for a series? I don't really care, but I would say that if it's a series that it's kind of like a detective series or something where you follow the same characters but they're in each book in a different adventure, uh, then I feel like you can have as many books as you want in that series. If it's a series that has one linear arc, I would say my personal preference is three books and no more than that. Question number two, how do you feel about cliffhangers? I don't like the kind of cliffhanger where um, nothing really changes but you're about to get a reveal and uh, the book ends. I don't like those kinds of cliffhangers. I do like the kind of cliffhangers that reveal that, for example, the character you've been following has been dead for the last 20 years, so you've been following a ghost, like something that just changes the perspective and changes, again, challenges everything that you already know about the story, about the setting, and uh, while you wait for the next book or maybe the next chapter, if it's a chapter cliffhanger, um, you have time to sort of look back and see everything that you've read so far in a different light. I love those. Question number three, hardcover or paperback? There is something about a hardcover with um, a dust jacket that I love the feel of, but I do have more paperbacks and I I think I prefer reading a paperback. Question number four, favorite book? Uh, obviously, I won't be picking my favorite book ever, but of my favorite books, I will mention If We Were Villains by ML Rio. This is sort of a dark academia mystery book with a lot of Shakespeare and it's incredible. Well, I think it's incredible. I recently talked to Sunny Luca and she didn't like that book because there was so much Shakespeare. So I guess if you're not a Shakespeare fan, this will not work for you. Question number five, least favorite book. There's a book that I read that I absolutely hate and it's The School Days of Jesus, which I thought was about a boy in a ballet school, but it's definitely not. Question number six, love triangles, yes or no? I want to say no because the ones that I've read so far have not been great, but I definitely can see how they can work if they're done well. Question number seven, the most recent book you couldn't finish. I think that would be Small Fry, which is the memoir of Steve Jobs' daughter and uh, halfway through the book I realized that I actually don't care about Steve Jobs, so this is not, I'm not interested in this book. <laughs> Question number eight, a book you're currently reading. I am currently in the middle of The Outlander. I'm in the middle of The Cousins, which I'm reading for a buddy read. And the third book, which I can't really talk about because it's the for a secret, secret TBR video. Question number nine, last book you recommended to someone. I, last night I had my buddy read discussion with Sunny Luca and I recommended to her In Other Lands by Sarah Reese Brennan, which is one of my all time favorite books. It's a YA fantasy with uh, queer characters and it's incredible. Check it out. Question number 10, oldest book you read by publication date? I think those would be The Iliad and The Odyssey. Yeah. Question number 11, newest book you read by publication date? That would be the graphic novel Swamp Thing, Twin Branches by Maggie Stiefwater. This style was just not for me and the story I didn't really care about. Question 12, favorite author for Mystery Riley Sager, for romance KJ Charles, for nonfiction Kelly McGonigal, and for classics Tolkien, Dickens, Austin. Number 13, buying books or borrowing books? Borrowing books. I am so glad that I have the access to New York Public Library because I use it a lot. Question number 14, a book you dislike that everyone seems to love? I would say Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. I just don't like reading about young men as main characters who have no ambition. They're not 
striving for anything they're not fighting for anything they just they don't know what they want out of life and they just become observers of other people and everything that happens to them happens to them like they're not responsible for anything that happens because they're so passive i don't like that question number 15 bookmarks or dog ears personally i use bookmarks but i absolutely do not judge people who uh decide to dog ear their books because if it's your book, you can do whatever you want with it. Question number 16, a book you can always reread. I'm not a big rereader, but last year I reread Lord of the Rings and now I feel like it will be something that we'll be rereading a lot. Question number 17, can you read while listening to music? Yes, I. sometimes it's easier listening to songs that I know because if it's a song that I don't know, then my mind is paying extra attention to the new um, melodies, new lyrics, new rhythms that I'm, I've never heard before and that can be distracting. So uh, something that I know. But actually lately I've been really enjoying the different ambience videos on YouTube with no music. Question number 18, one POV or multiple? I actually don't care. As something I've never noticed until I started my booktube channel that people really have strong opinions about, you know, what what their preference is. I absolutely do not care. I think as an air sign, as a Gemini sun and Libra rising, I would I like the idea of multiple POVs more just because I like to view the same situation from different sides. But um, but truthfully, I don't care. Number 19, do you read a book in one sitting or over multiple days? I've had both experiences. I would say that mostly I read books uh, over multiple days and uh, yeah, the books that I read very fast and that I read in one sitting are not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're better and that I enjoy them more. Um, it's just a uh, different kind of book i don't know um but usually i like to take my time with books and number 20 who do you tag i'm tagging rosie paperback mo katya weinard tara north key d books lady jane books margaret pinard and sunny luca if you want to do this tag consider yourself tagged i hope you have an incredible rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video